my friends. We're driving to the nursery right now. I literally sort of last minute just made Josh come because I needed him to film me. And I was like, I can try to do it on my own. But like me saying that is really like asking him to come. <laughs> the last time we tried to do this, we failed miserably. So we're doing it different this year because this video is going to be about our piggy garden. Again, we did one last spring. It's spring again. We're doing it again. We're going to switch it up this year, do things a little differently. I'm also going to buy some things just for the yard in general for our pots that we have around the pool. Right, Josh? Josh is definitely going to um, be a buzzkill when it comes to some of the things that I want to get because he typically is. Why? Because you like really, not to say that you like really boring things, but you just like things that are like evergreen, they don't shed, they don't flower. You Maintenance just, freak. Look at 24 seven. Yeah, and that's great, but like, I want like a little pop of life. I want things that change. I want things that grow. I want things that evolve. Like you just want robot plants. Like you, you're a robot and you want a plant that's also a robot. <laughs> I want color. Yo, everybody is here today. This is what I was worried about. Ah. I'm looking for dragon's breath, but I don't see any of the Celestias anywhere. So these are really pretty. And you see how like they're pink and not red? It's the pretty, but it's not dragon's breath. Do you just want to get just one pink castle? And they look cute together. We did it last year. I'm going to do it again this year. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're potato vines. Sweet potato. So pretty. Attract hummingbirds and butterflies. Uh, do I try it? Just lots of little babies this year. Little, little babies. Grow it like next to what? Like where we usually have an elephant ear. This fragrant plant is thought to repel mosquitoes with its fresh lemon, fresh lemon scent. Oh my God, it does. Plant in full sun, 18 to 24 inches. Oh my God. Beautifully splashed foliage on full plants. Perfect for gardens or containers. Why are pots so hard to find? It's like an array of sizes would be nice. One more that's this size. I said four. This is four. You stay there. Need you! Inside joke. Get married. <laughs> Who's just standing there doing nothing? Me! Go, do something. Take the cart back. Put yourself to use. So we had to put the planting of everything actually on hold because there was like two days yesterday and the day before it like got down to like 36 degrees and I just didn't feel like one, worrying if they were gonna not make it, and two, I didn't wanna cover them, so I just kept them inside. So I shopped for myself, and I shopped for the, oh, sorry, Josh, but I can't open plastic on camera. <laughs> I wish I had a camera, like, right here the whole time I was filming that was facing you so that we could always just have like you in the bottom B-roll of like what you're doing behind the camera. I'm not doing anything. I just feel like that would be such a genius idea. 
Okay, anyway, I'll table that. We'll, we'll come back to that another time. But like, I'm saying it now. I think that's a great idea. All right, well, I shopped for myself and I shopped for the pigs. So like, this is some creeping Jenny I got. I think about six of these, but those are for me. But for the piggies, we do have some tomatoes. You know, we don't feed them tomatoes a lot, but I, you know, I say they're for the piggies. They're really for Josh <laughs> and I. So all of the greens that I would normally get, they didn't have them. So they told us to come back. So I'm gonna go back on Monday because I have Monday off. Just do not go to the nurseries on the weekend. I have learned that it is the worst time. So I'm gonna go Monday to get all of their greens, hopefully, and hopefully they'll still have like the ones I want in stock. Cause like last year we got like collards and mustard and they did not care about either. Well, one we got for us, but either way they hated it, both of them. All right, so there's two different types of tomatoes or maybe the same one. Let's see, this one's black crim. This one's Cherokee purple, that's Josh. And then sun gold yellow. So these are like little cherry tomatoes. These are delicious. These are my favorite to eat like right off the vine. They're so good. And I used to hate tomatoes. I don't think I started eating tomatoes until I was like easily in my mid twenties. And now I love them. And then a red pepper. Cause you know, they've got the highest vitamin C content. So Piggy's gotta have that. She's eating guinea pig poop right now because this is where I brush off their laundry. <laughs> is it yummy? I swear there's like five lawnmowers right now. Oh yeah. Cilantro. I never do well with this. I have two beds. One that I've cleaned out specifically for this and now I'm thinking I shouldn't put these in there. And then I have another bed that Matoro, Josh, is currently in, if you want to film her or not. She's just going down the skate ramp. My cameraman is being lazy right now. He's literally just, can we please have a camera so I can just film you right now? I'm just sitting. No sh I told you to like do the thing you're supposed to be doing. Hi Stinky. Do you like cilantro? Hey Stinky. What's happening right now? <laughs> like why? I'm honestly like, I love planting the herbs. They serve like a really good purpose. I really do like having like most edible things in the backyard. Josh and I have like a lot of edible trees and vines. Like we have a kiwi vine and we have figs and a persimmon tree. What else do we have? Peach, Pe peach tree, mm -hmm. some mint, some strawberries. I think that's it. Rosemary. I do love a plant that gives back. However, I just love the ones that are really cute and pretty too. I always say everything wrong. So if anything, y'all just enjoy how I butcher the English language. Celosia or Celosia. Anyway, this one's called Castle Pink. I am a huge dragon's breath girl, but they didn't have any when I was there. So again, when I go back to get the greens, I'm ho they said hopefully they'll have those back in because those are the, my favorite ones. Those are the ones that I make all those dry flower arrangements from. And then I got this and I've never gotten this before. C-O-L-E-U-S. I just thought it was cute and I just want to put it in a pot or something and just see what it does just to learn about it. I try to get like a new plant every year to just learn something new because maybe I'll like it more than something I used last year. And then more Creeping Jenny because like I've got an idea that I'm gonna do. And then I have some sweet potato vines, two different kinds. And then I've never gotten one of these before, but it's a like a citronella plant, a citrosa mosquito plant. We just get a lot of mosquitoes. And I'm one of those lucky people that when they get bit by a mosquito, it like gets like really, really nice and fat and juicy. Oh, salvia, black in bloom. I don't know anything about this, but it thrives in the sun or part shade and our yard is like no sun or it's full shade. So it's like one or the other. And last but not, oh, it's another sweet potato vine. I got three. Look how this one has purple around the edge. I didn't remember getting this one. Well, maybe I'll put this one in with this one instead. All right, Josh left, but I need him now. But anyway, I just got a bunch of sunflower seeds. Two different uh, packs of the mammoths. Let's see, one is tall border mixed colors, sunflower citrus, velvet queen, Chianti hybrid. These are for my sister. I plant her a sunflower garden every year. It's like, you know, in memory of.
Josh, this is where you get to help me. Clean out that bed. So this is like the raised garden bed that Josh made so that he had an excuse to build a skate ramp in our backyard. You know, I go with these things. I don't have to do anything, so it's whatever. So anyway, this is a raised garden bed that I was like doing potted plant stuff with and then it got really cold and so my project got put on hold and nonetheless it's now trashed in here and we need to clean it out. Our parsley's been doing great though. What are you ready to clean? I have to clean this out. This is all my mess. Look at our beautiful garden. I'm also showing my best friend too. I don't even know if she'll let herself be filmed. Will you let yourself be filmed? I have to ask everybody. I think that's an, I think she's saying no. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. 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 <laughs> So I used to be her babysitter. It's just funny because when people are like, oh, how do you guys know each other? And I'm like, I used to be your babysitter and now she's all grown up and. Now we're friends. Now we're friends. <laughs> she's like my mom now. She's still my babysitter. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Was that the first time I've ever had a friend on? All right, guys, garden. Look at how beautiful it is. It's not beautiful yet, but it's gonna be beautiful. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Okay, so Josh dug my holes and he made sure that I dug my tomatoes deep because that was my tip for tomatoes. And then everything else, the peppers and the cilantro, I didn't have to bury deep. And then we'll also put some more in this bed back here because we have a whole nother bed to put stuff in and we'll probably put a lot of our other tomatoes back there as well. So since the parsley is real strong and I haven't fed any to the pigs in a while, I figure I could just chop some, rinse it off, rinse my nasty hands and um, we could go feed some to the piggies because we haven't seen them yet this video and we haven't seen them in a while actually. Alexis up here out of thin air. Hi! Where are you? There she is. Where are you, Piggy? Where's my hungriest Piggy? Lexi!
So that does it for this week's video. Love you guys. See you next time.